September 11, 1952 in New Orleans. He grew up in Picayune, a town of about 10,000 people in southwest Mississippi, wedged between the Louisiana border and the Gulf Coast. In uh, 1971, he enrolled at Pearl River Community College and then transferred to the University of Southern Mississippi, where two years later he earned a Bachelor of Science. He earned his DDS from Louisiana State in 1977 uh, and then went into the Air, Corps where he, Air Force where he served in the Dental Corps. A portly man with thick fingers and a drawl as thick as sausage gravy, West was brash, ambitious, and at times breathtakingly rec reckless. His rapid ascent in the world of forensics in the late 1980s through the mid-1990s is a striking example of just how deferential and unskeptical courts, police, journalists, and juries could be when it came to expert testimony. Many of West's claims about his forensic ability should have been suspect to anyone willing to give them some serious thought. Let prosecutors, yet prosecutors as well as police chiefs, sheriffs, and others in law enforcement rarely thought to double check them with actual scientists before putting West in front of a jury. Um, West, by the way, the, the, the method that he claimed to have invented, he modestly called it uh, the West phenomenon, uh, and we'll refer back to it later. West often portrayed himself as a, as a sophisticated pioneer of forensics, but also an everyman, grounded in common sense and folksy humility. Juries ate it up. He once told lawyers at a deposition, unprompted, that he had been reading a book about the Gnostic Gospels and another on quantum mechanics. But he also wasn't too fancy for a working man's beer. Quote, while I'm drinking Miller High Life's, I'm working on my magnum opus about why Galileo was wrong, he said. I've just got to get the Pope to read it. <laughs> In 1982,